Hi there adventurers, today we're going to be taking a look at Rhino Rack's cam buckle cinch straps. These come as a quantity of two, so it's great if you're going to be using these for kayaks, but they're not exclusive to just kayaks. You can use it for your roof rack system if you need to hold down some cargo, maybe some bags, or maybe you just brought something home and you got your truck and you just need something to hold it into the bed of your truck. These straps are going to work for that as well. These straps feature a rubber coating that goes around your cam buckle. And what's nice about this one over some of the other competitors that have a cover for the cam buckle, some of the competitors, the cover can actually slide off. And then it can work itself off as you're going down the road, and then all of a sudden your cam buckle is now digging into whatever you're hauling. Could be your kayak here scratching the surface all up. But this one goes all the way around. There's no way for the rubber to come off the cam buckle and slip out of the way. This keeps your gear completely protected from any abrasions from the metal cam buckle. And to help keep things tidy when going down the road, there is a strap just behind the cam buckle so you can take your excess strap and secure that on top. It's gonna to give it a nice appearance and it's also gonna prevent this from falling down and potentially getting wrapped around a wheel or anything else. Each strap is gonna be 11 and a half feet long, which is gonna be more than enough for your kayaks or your roof rack systems. It's a little bit shorter for your trailers. If you're gonna be using this across a trailer, it is a little bit short on that distance. But for a lot of your accessories, they're gonna be great options to get those things cinched down. These straps have a working load limit of 165 pounds and a maximum brake strength of 496 pounds. The straps themselves are constructed of a polyester webbing that's gonna be strong and durable and it's also not gonna cause any abrasions to the gear that you're hauling. Now, if you're in the market for just an economical strap to get you going, maybe get your kayaks down the road or some gear strapped up on the roof, each trailer does have some more economical straps. And this is kind of like we were talking about. You can see the cover here on the strap is a lot smaller and it doesn't completely encompass all the way around the buckle. So while this does offer some protection here, it is possible that as it's going down the road and if it moves, it could work itself back and you could potentially get some abrasions on your gear. It does have a strap here at the back to hold your excess that is similar to the hook and loop fastener on the Rhino rack. But the big thing here really is the cover here at the end. This one has the potential for abrasions if it does move versus the Rhino rack, you're completely safe. And just to give you an idea how the cam buckle works, it has a spring load mechanism with teeth on it here and you can't pull the strap off. But if you press in on the release mechanism here, we can then pull our strap off. You see if we let go, those teeth, they bite down in there and it pulls it tight. But it doesn't work that way in the other direction, which is nice because once you get your strap fed in there, when you're going to tighten it down, you can simply just hold the strap. You don't have to press the button at all and you can just pull and the mechanism will open enough to allow you to pull it nice and tight, but it won't back off, keeping your gear nice and solid. We can then just fold up our strap and secure it under the hook and loop fasteners once we've got it secured. And that completes our look at Rhino Rack's cam buckle cinch straps.